Hey guys, this is Kenny, and today I'm coming with a video of um, something I saw on Pinterest, something I saw on YouTube, and I thought it was pretty fucking cool. So I had bought the stuff for it um, some time ago, and I just kept, I lost the small cups that I was supposed to use, and I kept forgetting to buy new ones when I went out. But however, let's get to what it is. These are Jello cups. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have already saw uh, this all over YouTube or all over Pinterest because it's huge. But what it is is a cup made out of Jello that you can actually put drinks in. You can put fruit and candy and whatever you want in it, and then you can eat them. So they're really really cool for parties, uh, kids parties, um, adult parties. If you want to make Jello shot cups, however you want to do that, I wouldn't suggest you make them as big as I'm making these if you're going to put alcohol in them because people will be smashed. But um, it's very very simple. So. And very inexpensive to make what you need is one box of uh, jello you can choose any flavor um i don't know why i so dumbly got two boxes of the same flavor <laughs> which is strawberry and i thought i was getting cherry yeah anyway so um you just need one box of uh jello and you also need unflavored gelatin here and you need seven packets of that and then you're going to need uh 10 ounces of boiling hot water which i already have here and I guess I can turn my uh, scale off. So, um, I'm going to do something that I haven't saw anyone else do. I'm going to put like some little candies or something in mine. And uh, see how that goes. So, I think I did this bass backwards. So, I'm going to use this measuring cup here. Hopefully, it'll hold everything. It probably won't. But I do have a backup bowl just in case it does not. So, go ahead and pour my gelatin in there yep this is gonna be too small <laughs> um but i'm gonna roll with it and then you need like i said seven packs of your unflavored gelatin you can get this at any local grocery store so that's two four five six and seven Okay, so it doesn't say that you have to stir your jello and your gelatin in together, but I'm going to go ahead and do that, which I don't think it makes a difference, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now, I did hear some say that because the gelatin is unflavored, um, when you add your one pack of your uh, jello, it makes it just like a weak tasting jello. So if you want to tweak your recipe, which I started to do, but I'm not feeling adventurous at this moment. So, I'm going to go ahead and add my 10 ounces of water. Yeah, I think this cup will hold it all. Yeah, we're grand. And just stir, 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 and stir. So, this all mixed in well. Okay, so um, it's starting to actually thicken up already. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start pouring these into my cup. So what you're going to need is like a solo cup. I probably should have made my water hotter. I mean, it was very, very hot, but I think I should have made it hotter. So you're going to need like a solo cup like this. Um, this is just a dollar store version of a solo cup. Hopefully it doesn't collapse <laughs> when I actually pour my jello uh, in it. So... You don't want to fill the cup all the way up just because um, you got to stick your second cup in there. So what I'm going to do is fill it about halfway. And then what I say I'm going to do a little bit different is I'm going to, um, if I can find it, I got some little sugar beads like these. Or you can put candies or whatever you want in it. So I'm going to do some purple ones, which I don't think they're actually going to show up. But I'm going to put them in there anyway, just for S and giggles, for those of you who know what that means. It might be cool. It may not. All right. Um, what you want to do also, remember to, oh, my spoon is sticking to my paper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fill that up some more, about halfway. And then you want to scoop off your bubbles. That way, it'll make your cups more translucent. So, this is, I just feel like my water should have been hotter because it is actually getting pretty thick already. So now, 
Now that you have that done, you want to take another cup, which is smaller than your bigger cup, and stick it down in there. And I think that I'm living on the edge. Ooh. Yep, I think I probably put... Whoa. <laughs> I think I probably put too much. So, uh, I probably should pour some of that out of there. Just a wee bit. Yeah, so, I just kind of whiz through all the details about how much you're supposed to have but anyway so now that you have your cup in there you want to try to get it centered and you want to put something heavy like two oh yeah fail <laughs> this stuff is like seriously fighting back so maybe two or three butter knives on top and then you want to let it cool I'm going to find something heavier and then I'm going to pop this in the fridge once it cools and I'll be back to reveal the cup. Okay guys, I realized one step that I missed uh, when I was uh, kind of buzzing through the instructions. Oh yeah, this is not mixed at all very well on the, oh, I don't know if this is going to work because everything, I like stirred it really, really well and this is like starting to get thick already, but I'm going to go ahead and plop this in the cup. This is my first time ever trying this, so please forgive if this is a fail, and it probably will be a fail. But yeah, um, I forgot to mention that you're supposed to actually, oh, that's gross, put uh, cold water in the cup that goes inside of the cup, if that makes any sense. So that one's probably a fail, and I'm going to go ahead and scoop the bubbles off the top of this one. Oh boy, fun times. <laughs> It may or may not come out right. I don't know, but we're going to find out. So, now I have, <laughs> oh, I'm having a ball here, y'all, because <laughs> I don't have enough in this one. This is going to be a little mini short cup, which is fine. Um, yeah, so just let that cool. I probably should have put more, which I'm going to pour some of this off, and I'll only get two cups. This uh, thicker version over here. And I'm not going to put any... Uh, sugar beads or anything in that one. I probably could use most of that. Yep. Fun times. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not one of those DIYers on YouTube who everything they do is just comes up perfect the first time. <laughs> I just thought this would be fun to try, so I decided to show you guys. All right, so now you see this, the cup is not fighting back like the other one was. And then you put two knives or some some sort of weight on top and then center your small cup so it'll be even on all sides and then once it cools off you can pop it in the fridge so I'll actually be back this time <laughs> when they're set up you should put them in the fridge for about three hours and then we'll come back and take them out okay guys I'm back so this is actually the next day um, but I will say that I did check on these and these were firmed up in less than an hour I already plied, uh, pried, pried uh, this cup out and I took it out of here too and it's actually pretty cool I didn't do anything with this and I'll show you but um like the mixture was thickening up even before I put it in the fridge so it didn't take long at all but this is the outcome pretty cool huh and the little sugar candies I put in here whatever <laughs> you can kind of see them in the bottom um would I do this again probably not but it is an actual cup you know it's pretty strong too and it's cool because, like I said, you can eat it afterwards. So, I got some top right here. And I'll put a little bit in there. And you can drink it. Because, like I said, it is an actual cup. It's cool, man. See, look at that. That is cool. So, they're very fun to make. Like I said, if you got kids and you want to, you know, do a little party or whatever for them. Um, or whatever the case may be like a hang out with your friends or family these are fun to make and they're very very easy and inexpensive to make too so uh hunter is sitting behind me she's going to give this one a little bite to see how it tastes there you go just bite it <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird <laughs> I know. come on the people are okay, waiting I'm sorry they have better bite So what does it taste like? So that's her little bitty bite. It's just like jello. 
yeah so they're pretty cool and i mean you could even fill them up with fruit um and whipped cream if you want to do something like that for dessert they are pretty good can i have the whole <laughs> <laughs> she wants to eat my cup. So I'm going to give this one to Hunter. <laughs> it's actually really good. And this is pretty easy, like I said. Because in all the other pens and YouTube videos that I saw, they actually used uh, plastic smaller cups for the inside. I think it's kind of better to use a paper cup just because they're easier to manipulate. Um, doesn't look like it, does it? But <laughs> it actually is because they bend. So... Um, I'm going to tussle with this, like everybody that I saw uh, do these. They did have a bit of a struggle to get, uh, get the inner cup out. Um, yeah, I was just telling Hunter there's somebody at the door. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up while I'm taking this out. All right, so that's it, guys. Look at that. And this one turned out really, really cool because I didn't put the little sugar candies in, but I didn't clean up the top very well when you were supposed to take the spoon and get the bubbles off. But oh well, we're going to eat it anyway. So if you like this video, please do give a thumbs up. These are really, really cool. I like how it actually has the little ribs on the jello, like the cup. Um, if you would like to see more DIYs or anything that you can think of and you want me to try it out, please let me know and I will do just that for you. So that's it, guys. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.